this is Dr. Sangeet and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Pachala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy when today's topic we are going to talk about the tumor wherein there is increase in the cell number. So without further ado, let's get started. where we cover each topic under five headings in five minutes and today's topic is the neurofibroma so as the name suggests there will be neural tissues which are involved fibroblasts which are involved and oma means there is a benign neoplasm so there is going to be a benign neoplasm of the fibroblast of perineural tissues and before we get started with the neurofibroma make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos Talking about neurofibroma, as the name suggests, OMA means there is going to be a benign neoplasm of the neural tissues, right? Arising from the neurofibro. That means the neurofibroblast. So, these, this is a kind of benign neoplasm which is arising from the perineural fibroblast. Or I can say the neurofibroblast will be increased in the number. So, there will be pro proliferation of fibroblast like neural cells, right? So, these cells the which are increased in the number are either the perineural fibroblast or the Schwann cells. And as we all know about the Schwann cells, they are present at the peripheral areas, at the peripheral exome. So, they are present as like a membrane on the peripheral exomes and these are the cells which are involved with the myelin sheet production. So, either there is going to be a increase in the proliferation of the perineural fibroblast or the Schwann cells. So, this neurofibroma, this uh, this specific lesion or the specific lobulated surface. So, the growth is either solitary or it is seen in the multiple areas. When it is seen in the multiple areas, it is usually involved with the neurofibromatosis. And as we all know that neurofibromatosis, multiple neurofibroma, we see the cafe leu spots, which are the brown color pigmentations seen on the skin. Now, if you have seen in any of the any of the patient with the brown pigmentations, or if you have seen in the photograph, so there are macular brown pigmentations which are present on the skin are the cafe leu spots. So, the neurofibroma, either it is going to present a solitary lesion as a or multiple with a neurofibromatosis. So, what happens? See, fibroblast cells, as we all know, these cells are mostly kind of elastic or fibrous cells, right? So, the growth, if there is overgrowth of the fibroblast, then how it is going to, um, uh, the surface will be kind of a movable surface because these are not like osteoblasts. These are not hard calcified cells. These are the soft cells. So, the lesion or the lobulated surface is going to be freely movable in the submucosal layer. So, the mass is basically a freely movable mass with a multi-lobulated surface. Now, this may also occur as a central jaw lesion. Mostly, it is a painless because it is asymptomatic kind of lesion. Now, what happens? These lesions are grutex. Grutex means... They are weird shape lesions. So, there is no shape to these masses. They are just flabby soft tissue masses. Massive flabby soft tissue masses which can be either present solitary, alone or multiple with the neurofibromatosis. If there are multiple lesions, then there is cafe leu spots which is a pigmentation, brown color pigmentation, macular which is also seen in the neurofibroma. When they are associated with the neurofibromatosis, when there are multiple lesions which are involved. So, if we look at the histopathological section, we see that there are well circumscribed area of proliferating neurofibroblastic cells, right? So, proliferating spindle shaped cells which often resemble the fibroblast. So, these are there is a proliferation, excessive proliferation of the neurofibroblast. And in case of a cafe leu spot pigmentation, then there is basilar melanosis without any proliferation of melanocytes. So, this neurofibroma, they are, they, the origin is from the Schwann cells or the perineural fibroblasts. They are solitary lesions which can occur on the tongue, buccal mucosa, vestibule, lips. So, as you can see, all the surfaces involved with the 
सब म्यूकोजल लेयर बेसिकली दे दे कैन सीन एज अ फ्रीली मूवेबल मास विद अ लॉबुलेटेड सर्फेस विच इज सेम राइट and irregular irregular lesions these lesions are weird shape lesions that's why the lesions are grotex lesions right and also cafelio spot is seen in case of multiple lesions are present along with the neurofibromatosis so guys this is about the treatment of solitary is the surgical excision but see neurofibromatosis we actually don't do any surgical uh, intervention because what happens there is a malignant potential high malignant protein potential in case of neurofibromatosis so suppose if multiple lesion are present with a neurofibromatosis then we don't go for any surgical uh, intervention if there is solitary lesion then we can excise this surgically so guys this is about neurofibroma i hope that you have enjoyed the video so if you have enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and there is a link in the description box below to support me on paytm as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then keep reading keep learning stay motivated i will see you soon in the next video